<laughs> Hear that? Gloria says hello. She says hello. <laughs> what do you want? She wants some wet food. You hear that? She wants wet food. She's my little piggy. Hey. So yeah, what you saw there, there you go. There's a, one of my many, well, not many, but a few piles of old uh, paper. Mostly magazines and what's left of them anyway. And we're here in my office, virtually. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a pleasure for me to show you guys my... Uh, <laughs> Part five, I think, to the 61 Monarch painting. As you can see, she's going along just swimmingly. And, uh, yeah, I was working on a few things here for the cap past couple of hours. Uh, worked on it on last week as well. And uh, so there's a lot of things, I think, that you haven't seen since the uh, the last, uh, you know, update. I want to give a shout-out uh, to my mom. Thanks, mom, for the light. It's awesome. Uh, it really does... Uh, uh, show up brighter than this one here uh, but yeah you need as much light as you can get when you live in a small one of these uh, sorry not just small but uh, dark apartments you have all these fucking typical small vertical windows and you know as much as I love the old school and it's all it's beautiful faults and designs there are certain things well not a big fan of and uh, yeah, so it's uh, the, the painting is going terrifically. I'm uh, still waiting before I do another coat on that that brownish gold color, uh, which incidentally, it's I guess I made it maybe by coincidence this way. It's not exactly the way I wanted it, but it's very close because I once saw um, uh, last summer there was a '61 Ford Galaxy, so the Ford version to this, to the '61 Mercury. And, uh, of course, this being the Canadian version, but anyway, uh, it was a very similar gold color, that galaxy was beautifully restored. So I think, I'm not positive that this may actually be somewhat, somewhat close to a factory color. Gloria. Oops, glasses fell off. What do you want now? Man. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, what have I done since uh, you last saw this? Well, for one thing, I started last week on doing that crown over here. Yeah, the crown, man, how cool is that? So I had my uh, original 61 Monarch Richelieu ad over here that I, uh, uh, before I started painting, before I started drawing this even out, I put this original ad on the cardboard uh, pretty much almost exactly the same way as when I shipped them out when I sell them. <coughs> See? Just something from a, yeah, it's a Molson that held the cans of beer, and so I was working on that. And I think I don't know if you saw if I did the '61 plate, but I also um, uh, repainted, uh, gave a few, uh, some more coats of that black in the windows. That's not going to stay like that, by the way. And also did the uh, the typical light green uh, frames of the windows, like I mentioned, uh, using a, a sort of a. Uh, a real building that's like I said behind my street just a block from here on Davidson Street and uh, it's, it's it's a very old building and there but there's these grills on the windows you know these um, wire mesh type grills you know for safety and uh, uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that <laughs> frankly sometimes uh, a lot of times when I do a painting or something there's certain things you see and you're like I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do that but I'll, I'll figure it out I'll do it you know and I uh, just finished by working on all the, well, not all of it, but some of the chrome trim here, the wipers and the windshield, the, the uh, moldings there on the door, uh, a little bit on the grill here. Um, so there's still a lot of work left to do on it, but I'm really happy with it. Um, I put in this tree last week. Um, there's going to be a shadow on that cast on the car there. That's, again, going to be a little tricky, but... Uh, I think I might be able to use an ad I have for a 64 Bonneville, which has it parked under a tree, which was uh, done by one of the famous uh, GM artists, if not THE famous GM artist at that time, uh, I think it was Van Kaufman. Because there, there was Art Fitzpatrick and Van Kaufman when they did these Pontiac ads, uh, they and a few other makes, I guess, and one of them did the car and the other one did the background. So that's one reason was why I was inspired to do this painting in this in this type of aesthetic you know and why also i changed my mind to, instead i was going to do like a driver type of pontiac like you know 15 years after it was built 
a little bit of rust this and that hubcap missing but i said no 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 you know what it came to me i'm like this is a special car it's a very rare car uh there were maybe what 1400 of them made i don't know something like that and uh so and, and in honor of the canada's 150th anniversary well you know should be uh should be in excellent condition to uh commemorate the uh you know the 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 how old our country is our wonderful country of canada my wonderful country of Canada. Your wonderful country of Canada. So that's it. You know, like I said, it's going really well. And uh, thanks again to my mom for getting me these. Uh, she got me these two of these lights. Because again, as you can even see, a lot of these old places, they don't have, they don't even have friggin' light fixtures on the ceiling and the, on the rooms. Uh, my room over there, it doesn't either. So what do you think, Lauren? What do you think? Hmm? She loves the camera, man. She loves the camera. Look. Look at that. Huh? You want to say goodbye? Oh, yeah. Psst. You want to say goodbye? Hmm? She's a little quiet. Anyway, uh, so that's it, man. Uh, I have to excuse me. I'm a little bit... Um, uh, really bad day for allergies. My God, I the pollen, I don't know. It's Maybe it's all the cat hair or dust in here. <laughs> It's actually worse in my living room. I, I couldn't stop it today, uh, this morning, specifically blowing my nose continuously. It was leaking. Anyway, this is the season, so uh, y'all uh, y'all take care there. And let me just see. I want to make sure I get a one last uh, full shot here. Full the whole scope of things because the fucking office is so small. Uh, let's see. There we go. There you go, y'all. Take it easy. Bye-bye.